There we go. Yeah, it's going to be open. There we go. Right over his head. One play touchdown against cover three. Thing that you say about me. My dogs like to play mad in the 2K. But one thing they don't do is play about me. My homeboy Tyler, he playing South. What is going on, guys? King Reggie, and we are back. Today, I'm going to be bringing you guys some gameplay. It's going to be using that Trips Tight End inspired offense that I've been posting a lot of content about lately. So, it's out of the Kansas City Chiefs playbook. I have two formations. We'll, we'll see it on the field. But quickly, I just want to show you guys my lineup. So I have a really solid O-line, you know, mid-90s on my tackles and then kind of low-90s on my guards. Two tight ends, Johnny Smith and Darren Waller, really don't see the field for me. And then on receiver, that's where we, you know, have a lot of our money. We have Tyree Kill, Deion Sanders, Randy Moss, DK Metcalf. On both these formations, I have four wide receivers on the field instead of a tight end. So, you know, get a lot of speed, a lot of playmaking on the field. At running back, we have Alvin Kamara and Bo Jackson. To sub in and then we have Dan Daniel Jones at quarterback um I go deep 50 out of 50 lockdown sprinter and then really quickly just my abilities we have two edge protectors a route tech then on our quarterback we have conductor set feet lead and hot route master and then we have threat detector on our guard now let's look at the defense really quick. So I run nickel 335. I'm in the multiple D playbooks. So I have a ton of DBs on the field. So none of my linebackers see the field except ten, Ted Hendricks. And he's a, line, he's a lineman. And then our other linemen are Jack Youngblood and Aaron Donald. Then we just have a bunch of D, DBs. Sean Taylor, Calvin Johnson, Weddle, Isaiah Simmons, Deion Sanders, Knight Train Lane, Charles Woodson, Rod Woodson. Those guys are all in the field for me. Just, you know, I have lockdown 10 out of 10 or 50 out of 50, sorry. Then my my abilities for defense are Acrobat, one step ahead, Acrobat M, one step ahead, Acrobat on my user, and then just one inside stuff on the inside. So I have two one step aheads. I run kind of a zone man hybrid. Hybrid is one of my main defenses, and then I kind of run just like a classic double Mabel as my other main coverage defense. So multiple Ds. On defense, Kansas City Chiefs offense on O. Let's get into the game. All right, guys, so I'm in nickel 335. I like to come out in LB cross three. This is my main defense I come out in. So he's in strong close. This is my main coverage defense I come out in. I run, you know, this kind of classic double Mabel look. And they also then I also run kind of a zone. Oh, we got a user right there. User lurk. See ya, house call. So I run, that's my main defense, and then also run like a man zone hybrid. Okay, so that guy's going to be out of here. So obviously that was really quick. We'll get into another game. All right, guys, so I always want to start with Trey Y flex week. Then we are going to go to the package tight end wide out. That's going to put one of our receivers in at tight end. Then we're just going to go to the outside most receiver in our sub package and sub in our fourth receiver. That'll give us four wide receivers out on the field. Then I like to come out in 0-1 trap to start. That's just going to give me the ability to run the ball, a really good run play, just to kind of see what defense he is playing to start. So as you can see, really good blocking. It's a really, really powerful run play. Let's see what he was running. So he's in Tampa 2. So I'm going to come out in this PA Verts play. It is a really, really good cover 2 beater out on the left side there if he's running cover 2 again. Let's see no wasn't there just check it down all right third and 11 he's had some decent defense out there to start okay so we kind of got a high low read guys and then we have this backside to hill he's gonna chip and release which i really like as well man coverage there we go fire that into dion all right so it looks like he's playing a lot of cover two here guys and then he's using his middle slot corner there in man coverage so i'm gonna come out in this curl flat setup i haven't released this yet but it's a really really good set i'm excited to go over soon right there that was a little bit risky a little bit tight the user was right there but that's all right okay now he's been running a bit of cover three this is another play i haven't released yet but really really nice it can be a one play touchdown against cover three and then it's also got a really nice check down just underneath right there get a block out in front there we go okay so we're moving the ball really nice here i'm going to come out in this 0-1 trap again starting to get close to the red zone here we go blocking set up really nice there we go nine yard gain okay here we go guys this is going to be a nice play with this post over the middle and then we have two hooks underneath they're just going to sit down against zone coverage here we go Snap after the tight end, right in the middle of the field, fire that in, touchdown. Let's go. Really nice against cover two if he clears out there. 
Okay, guys, same thing. We're coming out nickel 335, this LB cross three. We're going to start with this double Mabel, and then later I will also run some of my man zone hybrid defense that I really like to run. So start with this double Mabel. Make him beat this. Watch that middle. Oh, that's a really nice dot along the, along the side. Yeah, that was a good first play from him. Let's see if he can do that again, though. If not, we might have to just adjust our zone depth a little bit. Definitely passing the ball. Cover three beater. Oh, he's got me there. Oh, come on. There we go, Rod. Uh, he, that was actually open, but he threw it a little, little bit early. Okay, 0-1 trap again to start. Just want to see if he adjusts his defense at all or if he's still sticking with that kind of cover two base look. Nice quick six yard run. So four carries for 32 yards, guys. Really good start. Okay, we're going to try this, this one play touchdown against cover two again. Really want to hit Moss down the sideline here. Let's see if it works. He's dropping really far back, but I think we can fit it in there. There we go. Boom. So that's a cover two beater that I really like, guys. I haven't released it yet, but that is coming up to really, really good against cover two. Okay, so we actually got a little bit lucky on that last one. He's in the middle of the field, so I'm not going to deep half my corner here, but that could have been a one play touchdown. So we got a little bit lucky there. Users do. Oh, he's hitting that again. Oh, he got his feet inbound. That's a dot again. So he's hit that on me twice, guys. I'm going to just drop my zone depth a little further back on my flat there. Should be able to take that away there if we drop it. Okay, now he's on the hash too. So I'm going to deep half my corner there to take away the one play touchdown. Oh, little bubble screen. Okay, we got to make sure we're deep half in that corner. because He can definitely hit the beater there. Watch the middle of the field. Right there, right at my guy. So there we go, guys. That was me adjust. He hit that play on me twice, adjusted my zone depth to five more yards, take it away. Okay, start with the one trap. Basically, every drive, guys, I want to start with the trap. Really just make sure. Okay, so he was in cover two. Is he going to stay in cover two again here? So now he's in cover three. So now that's just going to change the way we attack him a little bit. So I'm going to come out in this fake screen wheel play, and we're just going to try to cover three, bomb him. Just show you guys all the bombs today. So re I've released this play. Absolutely destroys cover three and cover two. This same setup. So either one, it's going to do a good. No, it wasn't open there. He did a good job of adjusting. That's all right. We had a guy wide open on that play, guys. So this we're obviously huge down in distance. We're just going to try a beater here. If not, we'll punt up 14. But we're going to be looking at Tyree Kill in the slot here, guys. So, oh, that's, oh, that might have been open, but just throw that away. All right, guys, third and seven. I'm going to come out in three fire, three overload fire press. This is my blitz. I really like out of this formation. I'm going to do a video on this whole new defense I'm running, guys. But basically, we're bringing a really big blitz off the right side. So I just like to come down, come off. Oh, there we go. He hit it over the middle of the field. But I wanted to blitz there. Keep him on his toes. Make him make a quick read in the middle of the field. So really on those thirds third downs guys i want to i want the guy to show me he can beat the blitz on those thirds and third and longs i really want to bring some blitzes and make him make a play against that you know force him to make some really quick reads if he's able to then we can kind of drop off and play some more coverage watch that seam right there there we go pick that there we go rob woodson is he gonna quit out or is he gonna stay in okay second down guys so we got a high low read on the right side here and then we have that backside hill route that i really like so yeah we're just gonna go to our running back right there make a guy miss get up field here we go oh we were close there okay we're gonna spike this all right guys third down here i'm gonna go to this curl flat play again we're looking for the running back out of the backfield or that deep post i kind of want to wait for the deep post here yeah deep post here we go oh oh i wanted that a little more towards the sideline five seconds okay guys we're trying to get a field goal here obviously so i want to hit this running back out of the backfield again try to get it within five seconds get down call a timeout okay here we go there we go right there get down oh we didn't get it off in time that's all right though 14 nothing lead i will take that after the first half all right guys second and 10 here we go playing in the middle of the field there we go there we go okay i think this guy's gonna quit out i thought we were gonna drop that calvin Oh, I don't know if I should. Oh, there we go. That was mean. Stunt into the end zone. Up 21. I'm pretty sure this guy will be out of here. OK, 
Okay, I thought he'd be out of here, but he's staying in a little surprising, but I respect it. So we're just gonna, you know, mess around, bring a bit of a blitz here. We know he's gonna be passing. User lurk that, absolutely destroy him. There's that blitz, guys, just bringing a ton of pressure at him. You know, that's a tough blitz to stop. Had him backed up, he had to pass. Okay, so that was two quick-ish games. We'll play one more, we'll check out one more. All right, guys, same thing. We're gonna come out in this 0-1 trap again. Just gonna see what he's playing on defense. Once again, you guys can see the blocking on this 0-1 trap. It is so, so good, guys. Check out my first video in this series, guys. That play absolutely destroys. So we really gashed him there. All right, guys, so now he's coming out in that gut flop, Fox looping 3-3-5 odd blitz. Now, if you guys run this formation, this Trey Y flex week, if you put the tight end on that looping side, he will, um, he, the, the loop will not be able to come in and in. Okay, I'm gonna, just going to check that down. I thought it'd be man coverage. But as you can see there, the loop will not be able to come in. He'll run interference on that play and you will block it every single time. So as, soon, as long as you're in trade wide flex week and you have the tight end on that looping side, that blitz will never come in. So it's just a really, really easy way you can send all your guys out on routes and block it up every time. Okay, we're going to block our running back here, guys. So now he's running a lot of cover three here. So we're going to try this one play. Try to bomb him over the top. Oh my God, if we don't glitch out. Here we go. Yeah, it's going to be open. There we go. Right over his head. One play touchdown against cover three. I've also posted that play, guys. Just one of the best cover three beaters in the game. Destroys, and it has a really good option if they do deep half their deep cover corner. Okay, he's coming out in Trey Y flex here. Same as the last guy we just played. Let's see what he's got. Starting off with just a little inside zone. Donald absolutely blows it up. Go second and four. Hasn't been able to get much going yet. Inside zone again. Oh, he spun right off me. Good run. Okay, so he's actually running the ball a little better than I would have guessed out of this formation. Usually guys aren't able to get, you know, a ton of huge gains, which is that normal inside zone. Looks like this is definitely going to be a pass. Here we go. I'm going to take that there. Oh, he just fit that in. He just cleared Hendricks. Good dot. Okay, third and eight, guys. We're going to bring this blitz again. Make him make a read. If he's able to make a really fast read here, then we know, you know, he's got some dots in him. If not, you know, this could be an easy sack. Push him out of field goal range or a pick. So let's see if he's got some dots in him. Right over the middle. Absolutely duck. Perfect timing pick. So there you can see, guys. Mixing in those blitzes. There we go. Oh, double juke from Rod. Mixing in those blitzes when you play a lot of really, really heavy coverage just really does a good job of, you know, they're used to sending everyone out. They're used to having time and slowly reading the defense. Now we just totally speed him up. He throws an absolute just duck into the middle of the field and we're able to pick six after like 100 yards. Okay, so I really like how the defense has been playing, obviously, in these three games, guys. I don't think we've allowed a point yet, which so obviously can't get much better, better than that. Oh, really nice juke inside. So I'm definitely going to release some videos, guys, going over this whole defense. The last defensive scheme I released was out of nickel 335 Sam, so a little bit different. I really like this because it just allows us to get more DBs on the field. Instead of having any linebackers now, we just have so much speed and coverage all over the field. Sitting in the middle of the defense here with our user. Watch backside. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, here I'm going to run that up. Uh, man zone hybrid defense I was talking about guys so we're gonna have two players in man coverage with you know a base cover three defense around it really really like to throw this in with that double Mabel guys it's just gonna give them a totally different look than they're used to seeing oh he's gonna get that right down the seam okay so he was able to get that kind of deep down the sideline so we just coverage adjusted now we we're at 20 now we're gonna go back to 25 we're gonna stick in our normal defense here just the double Mabel Patrol in the middle of the field. He's got that post. Oh, he went to the backside. Good, good throw. So this guy's got some dots in him. Okay, so I really, I, I'm going to stick with this defense until we get into about the 10. And then if he gets in there, guys, I'll show you what I kind of like to do down there. But I'll stick with this for now. Okay, I can, I don't know. One of our connections is kind of glitching out. Okay, send that. Oh, good. Oh, good throw, but we're able to break it up. What's he got? What's he got? Adjusting at the line. Okay, double Mabel. Here we go. Same defense, watch. Yeah, okay, we're gonna use, oh, that's a pick. Yeah, Charles, 
Oh, that probably would have been a pick six. Is he going to be out of here? Okay, so that looks like it'll be it, guys. That was three games, three blowouts. Didn't allow any points. I think I didn't get to play as much offense as I kind of wanted to. You guys really got to see the defense absolutely ball out. But this trip's tight end offense, super, super powerful, guys. That defense I'm running, nickel 335, really, really good. I'm going to release, you know, a, a few videos going over that defense and how I really like to set it up with, you know, my own kind of way to set up my double Mabel with my, you know, my coverage defense that is a zone man hybrid and then a really good blitz I like to bring in that defense as well. So if you guys are new to the channel, definitely sub down below. Leave a like on this video, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for the support. My name is King Reggie and I'm out.